Welcome to GRD 122 to exercise two, colorize masks. And we're gonna be working with a bridge. We're also gonna be working with an old photo for practice. And the first part of this, we're just gonna go over colorizing like we did in the first exercise, except we're gonna be using layer effects so that it's very easy to change the colors. It was a little harder to do that when we were doing the barn exercise. So we're gonna do something where we're using layer effects to do that and we're using a color overlay. So it'll be very easy to go in and change colors after the fact so you don't have to try and match them up as you're painting. We're actually gonna paint with black completely and then we're gonna colorize that black color with any color you want. So we're gonna do that first. So we're gonna do a little practice exercise uh, that we're gonna start with and then we're gonna move on to the bridge one which will do the same technique plus we'll also incorporate masks and selections that we'll get from channels. So we'll actually use the RGB channels to help mask out areas so we could paint leaves on trees and different things like that without trying to get real detailed and zoom way in to do that. So I'll show you how to do that too. So that'll be a little bit more that we'll do in the bridge one. But the first one will be a little bit more of practice just to go over the technique of colorizing. So let's get into it. If you go to unit two and you go into this bridge one, there's gonna be two images there. This is a black and white kid here last name F. Now you can click on this and copy it or you could download it. If you have any problems copying you should be able to download it but I'm just gonna click on it right now and I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna copy image and I'm gonna go to photo P. I don't even have it open yet but I'll go to photo P and I'll go to new project and this should have taken the size of what I copied. We'll see and I'll go here and do Command V or Control V. Sometimes that works better than going Edit Paste. So if you have any problems pasting, make sure you just do Command V and I'll paste it in. And actually I'll crop it. So I'll use the Crop tool over here and I'll crop it in and get rid of that old kind of photographic look and just bring it in a little bit. This is a real photo. That's actually my brother. He has a very large head on him. <laughs> so, uh, like a, like a man head on a, on a small child. All right, and I'll hit enter to make the crop feature take place. And then also what I could do here with this image, before I do anything else, it's a black and white image that was scanned. I'm gonna go to image adjustments. I'll go to levels. There's not a lot of dark shadows. Actually, it's a good thing to check out here. Actually, let me, let me close out of that. Good thing to review here is if you want any more detail in dark shadows, I'm gonna to go to image adjustments, go to shadows highlights and just check it out. See if it improves it. So I'll move this over and I'll turn preview on and off and it actually does improve it a little bit. So it's at 50%, you probably don't need that much. You just want a little improvement. So I'll take it down to maybe 20 and just get a little improvement. It kind of brings out some detail in those bushes. That's about it, so that's okay. It doesn't really affect anything else too much. It lightens up the bricks just a little, so I don't want too much going on here. Anywhere between 15 and 20 is probably good to just bring out some darker shadows. You only want to bring out the darker ones, not everything. You don't want to kind of make everything look too chalky, so that looks okay. And then also, overall, it's a little grayish, so I'm going to go to Image Adjustments Levels and just kick up the highlights just a little bit. Just brighten them just a little bit, just so it's not so gray. Just a little bit over here, you know, cause that's a sky, so that could be close to white. And just a little bit is good, so I'll hit okay. And that's probably about it. Layer one, I could just call it kid. And also I wanna save it to my computer, so I'm gonna go file, save as. PSD and I'll save it down and you could work on it in downloads you could work it on your desktop I guess I'll just put it in spring 23 GRD 122 I'll put it in there for now I'll just put it in notes for now I should make a folder for something I'm working on and oh, actually I have a folder here to colorize I'll throw it in here looks like I have something else here and some older stuff so I'll put it in there to even make a folder for it and actually I made a folder but I didn't save it so let me save as PSD and I'll go in that folder I called it new project but I actually want to call it to black and white kid and you could put your initials on it or something I'll put rh.psd and that's fine right now you could call it colorize whatever I called it uh, oh I had last name F on here so actually I should just put Homa R 
that's because that's what you guys should be doing. But save it as the PST. Somewhere on your hard drive where you could find your exercises. So I'll hit save. So that's saved right now. And I'll zoom in just a little bit. See it a little better. And I don't need this grid on right now, so I'll get out of that. By the way, it is an RGB image. Because I went in there, I saw some blue on it. There's some blue on it there. I'm not sure why that's there. Probably on the photograph itself. But this is an RGB image. And we're going to colorize it. So in order to colorize it, it has to be RGB. You can't colorize a black and white image, a grayscale image, because you don't have access to color. So we have access to color in here. And what we're going to do is the same way we did the barn one. Like maybe we'll start off with like bricks or grass or something. I could start off with grass or something or pants or shirt, whatever you want to do. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And we don't have to do the whole thing. Because like I said, it's just practice. But uh, I'll start off with grass. So I'll make a layer here and I'll call it grass. What I'm going to do is I'm always going to paint with black. So we're only going to paint with black. We're not going to use any other colors, anything like that. We're going to paint with black. Let me start painting on the grass. So I'll take my paintbrush and I know it's really hard to see in here. I'll make it a little bit bigger and I'll zoom in and I'll just start painting. If I could find my brush, there's my brush right there. You can kind of see it there. I'm going to start painting on the grass a little bit and it's painting black. Okay. Now, obviously I don't want it black, but we could keep it black. But what we're going to do is we're going to change this and scroll down to the bottom, just like we would in Photoshop all the way the second last one and make it color. Now it just looks gray right now. And what we're also going to do is we're going to add a layer effect. So we're going to go to layer style and we'll go to layer style and we'll also go to something called color overlay. And right now it's showing up as black. Now let's change it to a green color. We'll just go in green, any green in the middle and make it kind of a dark green or something like that. And just see what that looks like. And I'll hit OK. Did I hit OK? Oh, I hit the, I don't know if I hit the wrong OK. OK, there it is. I'm not sure what I hit. OK, so now I have green in there. And I also want to make this color. So just like we did on the layer, I'm doing it here. And I can adjust the opacity, but I could also adjust the opacity over here. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I have an effect over here. So if I click here, I see the color overlay effect. Now it's kind of a brighter green. Now if I want to adjust that, I don't like the color or whatever, I don't have to keep changing any color or anything like that. I could just go into here, double click right on color overlay, and maybe I could turn it down. I could go here and turn it down a little bit. I could try a different green, go like a darker green and see what it looks like. I'll hit OK and take it down a little bit, something like that. But now, now I could keep painting in green, and I could even, I guess, do the bushes too, or I could use a different green for the bushes. I might use the same for that. But now what I'm doing is I'm painting with this color, and if I ever want to change it, I could just go in here and click on Color Overlay. So again, I'll, I'll repeat that with something else just so you get the idea of what we're doing here. I'm not going to record myself coloring everything here, but that's the idea, so that if you want to change the color, you want to adjust the color anything, you just go in here and you do it here and it'll update everything you did. So for example, let's say his pants. Maybe I want to give him tan pants. I don't know what color they are, but maybe they're tan pants. So I'm going to make a layer and I'll call it pants. And again, just to go over the process, I'm going to make it color. Then I will add a layer style, a color overlay effect. So I'm going to go to layer, layer style, and go to color overlay. And make sure this is color. Now, this is actually being set to color because that's what I did last time. So it's doing that. And it's coming up a green. So maybe I want to give them some tan pants or something. How do I get tan? Well, I'll go into like orange or brown or something and then kind of find something more grayer. So I'll try something like that, kind of a beigey color. I'll hit OK. Uh, I could turn it up all the way if I want, and I'll hit OK. Now, there's nothing on that layer. Now, I'm still going to be painting with black on that layer. So I'm going to take my brush here and start painting. And there's his pants, and I'll zoom in a little bit so I can see it better. Remember, you can click and then hold Shift if you're doing like straight line kind of thing. So 
if you need to do straight lines on someone's pants or when we do the bridge it'll be easier to use that shift click method and again it's it's you click once then you hold shift and you click again and if you get some stuff that you don't want you can certainly erase from it you could certainly go here and find your eraser that thing there and kind of trim some stuff off if you want and now I'll go back to my brush and again I'm always painting in black and again the biggest downside I think to Photopea is now I don't know if it's a browser thing you know maybe this I don't try it in a lot of browsers but the way things appear in the browser are hard to see and when I record videos they're kind of hard to see the selection lines and things like that it makes it hard to see when I do videos uh, as opposed to if I was doing it in Photoshop the selection lines and the tools are a little easier to see so I'm gonna go here finish up his pants just to show you what I'm doing and you get the idea so those are his pants and let's try it one more time just to just to practice here I'll make a new layer I'll call it bricks and you remember what do we do we don't change any colors over here we're always painting in black we change this layer mode to color and then we add a layer effect there's the effect there we didn't add one yet we'll go to layer layer style I don't know why they don't call them layer effects but they call them layer style and we go to color overlay and then this has to blend mode has to be set to color and then I'll just kind of use a red and get kind of a dark red and see how that shows up I'll hit okay okay now I don't see anything yet because I didn't paint with red yet but now on this layer I'll be painting with red now if I don't like that red or if I want to tone it down whatever I want to do I can I guess there's some bushes back there but I'll kind of paint with red right now on that area and it's probably too bright and if I zoom out and I want to adjust it now obviously I'd have to see more of it but if I'd want to adjust it a little bit I could just go into my effects little arrow here and double click and kind of move this away and I could turn this down that'll just kind of turn down the opacity but it, it kind of tones it down I could try to change color sometimes changing colors doesn't do what you think it's going to do I mean there's a bright red there's a toned down red there's more of a like a brownish red and it actually works better almost just kind of toning down the red a little bit from the opacity just something like that and I'll hit OK so you could control everything pretty much from the layer effect so I could go in here and again just to show you the effect of shift clicking I'm just gonna click and then hold shift and click again and then hold shift and click again click here hold shift and go down along the window and then I can make my brush bigger using the brackets the right bracket to kind of fill that in and so on so I'm not gonna go through doing all this you could do some of it uh, I don't need you to finish this all off because we're gonna be moving on to the bridge but this is kind of sometimes it's kind of fun when people start they want to start seeing some more because it, it it's a neat effect I think when, when you start working on these black and white things that you color especially when you go into skin and you think how does the skin look because you know if you have a little white kid you put pink skin on it and you know see how that looks but uh, you know that's not always that accurate when you do that but we'll try it out and, and again this is kind of a, the technique that they would use in colorizing black and white movies and things like that just think they would be doing this frame frame by frame I mean not everything like that but that's kind of how they would be doing it and let me just try some skin I'll just make a layer what would I do I'd make a layer and I call it skin and again change the mode to color add a layer effect layer style color overlay and I go in and you know probably you would think oh you'll pick like a orangey reddish kind of pinky skin color and I'll try that and I'll hit OK and I'll just kind of paint on his head and you know I, I didn't do his hair or anything it's a black and white photo so I could do his hair a little bit differently I'll make my brush smaller and kind of work on the skin I'll zoom in here and make my brush a little bit smaller so I'm 
not too sloppy. And I'm letting the black and white photo kind of create the shadows in there. But that doesn't look too bad. And again, if it's if it's too much, because we have the tendency sometimes to make, you know, white skin really pinky, but we could kind of turn down the opacity a little bit. He even has very big hands <laughs> for, for, a, for a child. But anyway. Get his ear in there, the side of his face. Obviously, I could get more accurate as he's wearing a bow tie. <laughs> it's like this T-shirt bow tie thing. Uh, and that is not me. That's that's my older brother uh, in there. And, and again, anything that you'd want to fix up. So you could kind of just test this out a little bit and do some things. You don't have to do everything. I, I know we've done this in the past where we've done all the, um, you know, the wood parts here and stuff like that. But I'm going to work on the bridge one. But this I just want to practice with first. So just do a little practice. Uh, with this in the beginning, just some areas, some grass, some bushes, some bricks a little bit if you want to try some of the garage doors, some of the sky, stuff like that. But we're going to be using some channels and masks on our bridge one next. So I just wanted to introduce this one as a practice one. So even if you just did a little bit of this um, and in here where you did some of these effects, uh, and, and again, you're painting with black, you're on a layer where the color mode is turned to color, and they have layer effects with color overlay, and I'll double click on it, and the color overlay is also in the color layer blend mode. So these are the same modes that you see in a layer. They have this blend mode in here on the effect, so you're putting a color overlay. So it's really a nice technique to work with because of editing the colors, because you could edit the colors completely after you paint everything. So you're not changing paint colors and painting and then being like, oh, I, I should have used this color or I, I can't match that color. You're just painting with black completely and then colorizing all the black. So, you know, if we turned all these layers off, we would uh, and turn the effects off, everything would just be black that we painted. So that's what we're doing on here. So uh, if you want to turn this in as the first part of it, I, I'm hoping everybody can uh, share the Photoshop file. Like, let's say I wanted to share the Photoshop file. Remember, you should be able to use this technique. Uh, one student said he had a problem. It wasn't actually making the tab. But what should happen is after you save it, make sure you save it. I'm going to save what I did here. And I'm going to go File, Share, and then go down to PSD, photopia.com. And your document will be published. And they guarantee six months of storage. So if you do that, it should say publishing, and then eventually it should show you a new tab with it, like this. And it should have a pound sign and some kind of random letter combination in there. And then you can send this uh, in assignments. You could basically copy this and go back here and add a comment, add a link, put this in here, and make sure you open a new window hit save and then you could have more comments because we're gonna do other stuff so you're gonna be working on the bridge one too but that way I can see your Photoshop file I can see what you're doing in it and if you wanna just put in your JPEG you can also do that you could just go here and go file export as JPEG and then for anything you're putting in a comment like a JPEG just put it down to like 400 don't make it real big just put it 400 if you click here that the height will change because it'll stay in proportion and then it'll just be a JPEG instead of a PSD and you can hit save it'll download it now this keeps coming up with a ad blocker but I do have my ad blocker paused you see I have a th thumbs up there so I don't know why I keep doing this but anyway, here's this in my downloads. Then if you'd want to go back and upload an image, you could always just add a comment. This will be another comment. And just add an image and just go search for it. Hit that little source thing, then upload. And then wherever I have this thing, I think I put it in. Oh, it's in downloads. So I'd go to downloads. And there it is. And I'll hit insert. That's 400 right now. And again, if you'd want to make it smaller, you can. I think in the, the newer version, it like overlaps stuff. Like if you make too many things in here, it starts overlapping it over other stuff. But you could do that. You could say, here's my Photoshop uh, link in Photopea. And here's my JPEG that I worked on it. Because this is just a practice part. So this is just a practice. Before we get into this, we're going to colorize this thing. And 
and the reason we're going to use masks and channels is because there's stuff here we're going to want to color like in between other stuff. So how do you do that? And we're actually going to make a kind of a mask so that you could just paint over the sky and not have to worry about painting over the leaves. And then you could paint over the leaves and not have to worry about the sky. So I'll show you how to do that uh, in the next couple of videos. That'll take a little time to do that. But that area, this is the area really that we're going to do that with. Everything else you could kind of do it like we're doing it now. You just make a grass layer and use that technique and do all the same, same techniques. Uh, but this stuff, instead of going in there and going in and out and trying to do green on top of all the leaves and then trying to do blue, we're actually going to mask it out. So you could just paint over it. We'll make a selection that's uh, kind of blocking off that and we could do that. So that's what we're going to do next. So do this first part and then we'll start working on that as well. And again, do as much as you want on this. You don't have to complete it completely, but if you like working on it, you know, complete the grass and the bushes at least. Maybe the sky. Maybe you don't want to do the garage door and the windows and stuff like that, but maybe do the bricks and the bushes and the grass and the kid. Uh, leave out the, you know, as much as you want to do. So practice with this first using that method that we used where we were using layers in the color mode color blend mode and then also color overlay effects in the color blend mode and also and always just painting with black and then controlling our colors from the layer effects so that's the first part of this so have fun with that and then we'll move on to the bridge